If you bear in mind that you know the Muslim community are often accused of not being integrated, not being part of the mainstream, and yet we have probably the best player in the Premier League right now is a Muslim player, which is just uh, fantastic. And equally and unfairly, the if you want to call them the white working class, you might associate with with football traditionally, are often accused of being racist or prejudiced or not welcome to the Muslim community. And here we have both of those. Um, situations merging together with Liverpool football fans. I think the fact that in one of the most important cultural parts of Britain, which is football, that something like this is happening, I think it's just really actually quite heartwarming. It's known that Mohamed Salah, uh, you know, he's a religious guy, he's a very humble guy, gives a lot of his money to charity. But the fact that they've chosen this one and chosen to highlight his faith, I think is, is just incredible. It really is. And I think quite respectful. It has to be a special mention for Liverpool fans. I'm an Aston Villa fan, so it pains me to say, but I mean, there is something very special about Liverpool fans. They do get behind their players like this. They do see themselves as a, a very different breed, a very special breed. And I think um, it, it's uh, probably no coincidence that it's come out of Liverpool, this. If he scores enough for you, he's